you see they added normal retweets back again. Oh, what was that? I heard someone talk about not being able to quote retweet or something like well, that. Well, yeah, you, you can. It's just, um, you know, how with, um, how like Twitter changed it mm. uh, for it to be um, like you quote retweet it and then um, um, you can like do say nothing and it'll just normal retweet it. Now it just um, now it's just like the back the way it was. Right. <laughs> It's uh, whenever anything minor like that, well, not not minor necessarily, but what could seem like a minor thing on the website like that, it just causes pandemonium, doesn't it? It's, uh, yeah. Be the week of that because we had Google go down. Uh, most Google-related things, including YouTube, went down a bit this week, didn't they? Mm. I think that was because of the um, charity event that Jack said the guy was doing. Oh wow! So <laughs> that's quite a heartwarming yeah. reason, it. They raised about they raised about six million, so hmm. Oh that's awesome. That that would be why then that was like the one time that day I tried to access Google Documents, so not too much success, but <laughs> So yeah, when you're ready man, we'll just get going. Nice. This uh this one, right? No, that's the um you go to that to go to the uh, secret world, which is where we get. That's the thing we need all the bonus coins for. Oh, where do we go then? <laughs> that's when this game, I suppose, actually oh, gets go. difficult. <laughs> well, so we go. So we go here then. Yeah, that's the one. All right now, I need to remember the controls. Uh, it is basically just um, Y or left face button. I, I mean, you, yeah, you know what's got it actually? Yeah. Uh, Remember, you could do that thing where if you hold attack midair, you could, or after you jump specifically, you can. Oh. <laughs> Actually, that. What's that doing? Oh, we've got a uh, DK battle there. There's also this thing you might remember. Uh, a oh, yeah. or right face button. And then can use that to get up here. Oh, wow. Yeah, some of those they do, like, instantly. Keep their swords in the ground, but I think these ones with the colour variation. Uh, Armour says, thanks guys, now I'm really sad over an age. AOT. Oh, it's Attack on Titan. Dying. I wanted to say, I, I thought of Age of Calamity first, so I was going to be like, Age of Calamity, I was like, wait a minute. Oh yeah, you're, you're welcome, mm -hmm. Armour. I mean, so many people die in that show, right? It, um... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I mean it's um, you you get um, you very rarely get like main character deaths. Mm. So that's, that's true. It's more in the background, isn't it? Hmm. So I take it you um, because um, that was in there. How are you doing, Albert? By the way, sorry, I should say that. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Um, yeah, because Albert, I think I was in the same position you were that I. have only see the Attack on Titan season one, and just like you, it's not out of dislike. I just didn't get around to the rest of it. But you're obviously a big fan, guys. Oh yeah, I got him to watch. Um, got him to watch most of it this week. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, the last time, the uh, last Oracle, he's at the start of part two of season three now. <laughs> mm. How many episodes of the seasons? Um, I think season. Um, three is twenty-one episodes. Twenty episodes. Mm. I'm not sure. Um, season two is a, a shorter season. It's about um, it's like about fifteen episodes, I think. Still, Arbo definitely has been marathon, doesn't he? Uh, good for him. Mm. Hi, Lion Twitch. How you doing, man? Thank you for coming in. On Twitch, isn't this game pretty? Isn't it sound pretty? How are you doing today, like? How is Arba? Is that on Netflix? Uh, the first season's on Netflix. Right, that's why I saw it, I'm pretty sure, like several years back. Mm. Have they just never put season two and three on there, or...? I think, um, it's on... I think I saw on... It's on Netflix on the, in the Philippines. 
Wait, I really, think that's it. Really, the Philippines <laughs> Falco needs to page uh, Jitteru for that, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh my lord. All places. That... Actually, they have got quite. Um... So I've been watching the High. Have you heard of High Q? The. Uh... I think I've heard of it. It's, it's the uh, even if you're not like into sports, it's like a really good like volleyball series. Uh... I'm not sure. Um, like all these high school lads uh, playing body, but I always want to say dodgeball, even though I've seen like twelve <laughs> episodes of it. But it's very clearly not that. But um, yeah, like she's got a couple of the movies available in the Philippines, which I think over here we've at least got the at least the first two seasons. But this is uh, as time goes on, I'm sort of more like, all right, I guess I will maybe spend money on the VPN. <laughs> I disagree with what Armour just said. <laughs> the five pounds is more than um, is uh, definitely uh, enough if you're watching AOT. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's fair. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I mean, when I first got Netflix, that's when VPNs were. Uh, I don't think they were cracking down on them as much, so they were. You could easily use a free one. To, not really the case now, but like that was genuinely a part of the value proposition for me. I, guess I got like... um, I got NordVPN for um, Persona Five Animation because I was on Funimation in America. But um... oh shit! Oh no, I think um... oh weirdly, I'm still like I said, on player. It's still kind of oh. ah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that was on uh, Funimation for uh, just America, and I wanted to watch it, so I got it on. Um, I got uh, a VPN, hmm. and um, so right face button sends out the slower one. If you press right face button again, uh, so um, a. Uh, oh right. Yeah. And then if you press it again, it forms like that. And that's what you use for the platforms. Okay. This is this is this is taking a lot to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take it on. So, um, I think I probably watched Attack on Titan season one like twenty sixteen, probably as well. Um, uh, um, probably like a little bit after it kind of exploded everywhere, at least in the West. I don't know if it was like right away, but a little bit after that. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed it so much. I God, it's. Uh... <laughs> Pretty gruesome and intense show, but yeah, it is. Oh, uh, like, I'm not surprised they've. Oh no, uh, that was you again, Garge. Oh, was it? Yeah, oh. it's a bit confusing. I think when you're when you're the animal buddies, like not when we're riding them, when we're actually just controlling them directly. Uh, okay. I think whichever player has them just has it for the two lines. Well, I'm not oh, yeah. answer, the two hit points. Yeah, so I got I got NordVPN, and um, I, 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 it's like ten pounds a month, which is like so much mm. for me. And um, I wanted to cancel my subscription, but um, the way the only way you can cancel your subscription is by deleting your account, mm. and you can't you can't delete your account without contacting support, <laughs> mm. which is. Basically, I think them trying to steal your money. <laughs> well, could you because... do like a film where you call them and you say, "Oh, I'm going to cancel," and they're like, "Oh no, no, don't. We'll give you a discount." But you could. Yeah, no, no, no. They said, they said, um, I, I, I gave, I sent an email saying, um, uh, I want to um, delete my account because I have no need for it anymore, and um, they said, "Well, are you sure you want to delete your account?" Uh, bear in mind, this was about. Uh, a day before my um, my thing was going to renew, so uh, by just sending like a confirmation email, I just lost ten pounds. <laughs> mm. Oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that sucks. Oh damn it! <laughs> Placement. Let's have a look. Yeah, I do a good. Thank you, Lai. Um, you're dreading work tomorrow. Um... Oh, uh, no, I just started a new job and I've already had uh, waiting ages for IT to get back and having to chase them up, so <laughs> I think I can relay on that quadrilas. Um, 
Wait, hold on, let's just check us back where we can. Yeah. <laughs> there was an arrow points fella. God, the enemies have respawned. Or is, that, is it just the ones I haven't killed? Oh, I think it's just the ones I haven't killed. Good sir. Hi, Yazzie! Uh, you've come in. What happened with having to pay something? Um, uh, we're talking about VPNs, um, Yazzie and poor guards uh, uh, trying to get out of paying for his. And, uh, or like, uh, you know, like trying to unsubscribe and uh, that not going successfully. I think you can kind of, sh you can sort of share one, can't you? So I consider doing that with Jittery to justify the cost of it. It's just like um, you should you should have like a delete account button like on um, like at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think, oh, Jesus! <laughs> Damn it! After all that time, <laughs> I think mean, there's a reason they make it a little trick, isn't there? Oh my goodness, Kasai! How oh, Kasai just raided us, guard. Oh yeah. Hello, Kasai. I I um I was in his um. I was I was in his stream um, earlier. Oh, nice. How are you doing, Kasai? Thank you for coming in. Yeah. What What was uh? Well, I suppose you can answer, guys. Yeah. What was Kasai just streaming? He was playing Assassin's Creed. I can't remember which one. Oh, I think I. Oh, I did get the notification. That I've only just um. Oh, uh, Shadow wasn't able to. I, I think once I'm more on the swing of my job, I can probably put streams on in the background more easily. Maybe after a week or two, so hopefully I'll be able to tune in uh, then, because I... When we do daytime ones. Black Flag's the one I've always wanted to play, because that's the most pirate one. <laughs> Hello, Fire Rabbit! No problem, thank you for working on the... Well, thank you for lurking, then. I hope work goes well. <laughs> I suppose I don't have to thank you for working at your own job, but <laughs> no, no problem. Uh, hello, Ben. These are for you, fella. There you go. Yeah, but uh... <laughs> I thought the way us having roughly three hours might be enough. Uh... Yeah, with our track record of not passing a level yet. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, again, we won't pressure too much. It's. Uh... Yeah, of course, this is partly motivated by Donkey Kong Country 3 being available next week, right? Yes. I think it was the 18th, and then <laughs> a bunch of really odd, like, uh, out of nowhere picks, which I, I like when they do that with the Snares and there's Apple, although I think it is also them um, going to, like, the cheapest bidder, I think, in terms of what other games to license, but it's a neat ones in there, there's like a Fireman game. Hey, thank you, Ben. Thank you for the uh, 69... <laughs> 69 banana coins. Very fitting for this game. But I think the sound effect for that is from this game, actually. I mean, the weirdest thing was people subscribing during the Donkey Kong Country 1 stream, which... <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Us, this, uh, these games rule of only having one checkpoint per level is... Uh... <laughs> and the somewhat validating thing is, I think it was Steve Mails, one of the OG Rare guys. I, th I think he was tweeted like, oh my god, we did make this hard, didn't we? <laughs> so if like, the game's creator, uh, game's developer... Oh, why did I jump there? <laughs> the game's developers... Uh... I find it tough. It's it's okay for the rest of us too. <laughs> it's just it's no one's actually beating this game. <laughs> Wait, uh, I did in like 2003. Whenever I got a used copy off eBay, so I think I've still got this. Well, I got it boxed. Uh, uh, probably not in very good condition because <laughs> it's a cardboard box, but. Oh, no. but like, yeah, I think it's like when you when you have two on screen. I think they do time yeah. out eventually, anyway. But yeah, when you get yeah. the third one, it's um, it's annoying when you misclick. 
How are you doing, Kasai? Kasai, what's... Uh, forgive me, I think we probably have discussed this before, Kasai. What's your Donkey Kong platformer experience? I, um... I definitely recommend playing them. Like, actually, you're on, you're on Wired into that now as well, aren't you, Kasai? And, uh... I always have a ton of surprise when I say I'm surprised that the connection quality being good on this. <laughs> it's because of it being a Nintendo thing, but... It is shockingly playable, this, isn't it, guys? The, it is, yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm sure there is more of a delay, but it's certainly not to any kind of especially egregious point. Yeah, it's, uh... I mean, the thing I was lament with this, I wish there was, like, some kind of matchmaking to play with randoms, because I... The fact it's friends only, playing the theirs and stairs games a lot, I suspect they probably don't get used that much because of that, but... It's really yeah. fun, I just, I just love that being so many of these games have online now. Even if not, like, direct matchmaking. Which I wouldn't really want for a co-op game like this, necessarily, but... Some of the competitive ones would be quite nice. Oh my goodness! Oh, Kasai! <laughs> oh, bless him. He subscribed and then also asked, answered my Donkey Kong experience question. <laughs> I'm kidding two birds with one stone. Give <laughs> uh, me I fucking can. Shit, man. Okay, look at that. I, the funny thing is, I think the last time we played this, wasn't it October? It was, yeah. It was the last week of October, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Because that's... I remember that um, Halloween was close to it. Oh, that's right, yeah. And the all the spooky levels were very fit in there, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now maybe slightly less. So... Not that I wasn't tried before, but I'm going with a really... Oh, actually, that's... Oh, there we are. <laughs> that's like a little tree up there, if you actually have your buddy with you, so you can... <laughs> oh, see if we can get the DK coin, which they've made the timing for really tricky. Ah, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got 10 bananas. Those are more edible than DK coins. That's just chocolate. I disagree. <laughs> Not from experience. Yes. You poor teeth. Oh my lord. Yeah. So you have DK oh, what's this point, then? oh yeah, I remember you saying you're not. Oh, this is. Uh, so you have to jump on those. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember you saying you weren't that keen on Banjo Kazooie. Uh, so it's just better now for me. Like, I have a lot of nostalgia for rare stuff, but. I can see how they can be stuff to critique on some of them. Um, I would say out of all the games, I think the... Especially this game, I... I think even... Ooh, I'd still recommend even given that. Obviously, I'm quite biased there. Yeah, you're so biased, I, I'm not going to listen to anything you say. <laughs> well, like on any matter, <laughs> like political as well, not just the... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, just because my um, desire for a banana-based economy requires having perishable goods as a source of money, which is a stupid idea. It's, uh... it's so novel, though, because I... <laughs> uh, God, even. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, the Sephiroth in is 10 o'clock tonight, isn't it? Or like 10 o'clock GMT, is, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's... Uh... Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, so I think what it is, is the, the last one, the alive baby that... Uh... Oh, right. <laughs> Eric Crow, okay. uh, weaponizes. You jump on that and that reveals the uh, banana. How do you like avoid it if you don't get it? I think you just have to jump over... Oh, okay. Yeah, the tricky thing is, I think if you jump towards the the boss with the barrel, that you might still end up making contact with them. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, at least we know the DK barrels, though. <laughs> <laughs> 
There we are. Okay. I will say, for what it's worth, like on Twitch, um, that's especially a problem with the second Banjo Kazooie game. The world's being too big. Oh, so I'll get the. Uh, well, I'll try and get the TK barrel. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say the first Banjo Kazooie is not too bad for the world's being too big. Maybe by the time you get to the last couple. Like, I don't think uh, the penultimate level, Rusty Bucket Bear, I don't think that's anyone's favourite. It's, it's still pretty cool. It's quite maze like. But I know what you mean. I don't. Um... Well, I don't mind, like, I'm thinking of, like, Mario Odyssey, where I didn't mind the size of the levels of that, because I guess they were quite dense. Um, I think it's just when there's the sense of, like, a material being stretched thin, that you sometimes get with levels that are too big in a game. I think especially on the N64, where it was impressive they could have big levels like that, but... Because it was the N64, they probably couldn't make them that dense, really. And they probably also were stretching what design they had, like, a little thin. Ooh. Oh, sh yeah, this is where this game gets really tough. <laughs> <Get on. laughs> it happens. It happens so easily, man. Yeah, it's uh, we are a couple of months off there. I haven't practiced at all for this. So. <laughs> Rusty myself. Rusty bucket bay myself. So, I'll we'll go there. Yeah, this way, the last few updates, the... Argu arguably the... The Donkey Kong Country games have been the main highlights for the last three, uh, including next week. Yeah. I, I, I think people want the RPGs next now, like Earthbound and Mario RPG. Yeah, they want Mother 3. <laughs> I hope we get some word on Game Boy, like some kind of Game Boy stuff on there. Like it is weird, the only place to buy GBA games at the moment is the Wii U and the... Guess you still can get Game Boy and Game Boy Color on the 3DS. <laughs> what they really want is one ends with you to uh, lie, nice. <laughs> Oh, uh, Kasai, you mean when Sephiroth hits? Uh, yeah, I, sh I should. Um, if I'm able to, I definitely will, which I know is... Saying definitely after maybe is a bit contradictory. <laughs> to say that to be sure, but I'd, I would love to join in, though, because... Uh, I still have got the same answer. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm not sure if I'm able to. Probably will be, though. You've, uh, have you finished, Gosh. Like, f Um... Uh, what, you mean school? Well, yeah, I mean, are you going in again this week? I guess that's what I'm saying. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I've, been, um, I've been off for a couple of weeks because there was a... Um... Well, if you go to the left, don't yeah. go up to the barrel yet. That's it. No, it's there, was a, there, was, there was a case and we... Um, we isolated for a bit and then we got sent back. And then I was told to uh, isolate again. Mm. There's a lot of six form. Like six form is kind of the point where you start. Um, that's when you start having to kind of be a bit more independent in your education. Oh which, yeah. Which oh I, yeah. I yeah. did struggle with it a little bit, if I'm honest. But um, because of that, it, I imagine it's more conducive to like having to do remotely than like school um, before that. But, at least to a well, point. yeah. Um, I mean, it's kind of um, it's it's definitely uh, it definitely would have been easier had it um, uh, right now rather than like last year because I'm only doing what I want to, mm -hmm. um, and um, it's like yeah. So we're kind of like expected to uh, do it. Like, um, at, uh, like, force ourselves to do it at, at a, a good standard. Hmm. So it's just the it's the kind of get the motivation to uh, 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe not quite the same, but I, as I say, I started a uh, job this week, and that's, uh, it's been very, like, there's not been a lot to do yet, so, <laughs> and do that at home, it's like, let's have one Rocket League match, but then it's also sort of like, <laughs> there could be a cool, uh, anytime, but even they've, you know, my supervisor was like, yeah, just, you know, have a cup of tea, or take your time if, uh, it's not a lot. Yeah, but... one of my friends was, um, also, um, like, uh, like was like told to isolate so um, I mean like after we did like some work I think a couple days ago on uh, Tuesday um, we we just uh, got on a discord call and played stick fight <laughs> nice oh, I think I saw you on stick I, I saw someone on stick fight I think that was you yeah I was on stick fight on um, nice. Tuesday and yesterday nice <laughs> I, I just got it because it was cheap and uh, it looked fun it is funny because i kind of so ah, damn it. so close to not getting hurt um, i associate uh stick men with like uh having fun during class kind of thing so just so think of like schoolmates drawing them in their books or whatever usually in bloody wars though <laughs> right so i think you have to jump over and i think that so oh god they go quick don't they Oh, yeah. <laughs> how was I gonna make that? <laughs> That's pretty rough, yeah. It's, uh... Again, though, the game's creator was saying, oh my god, we did make this tough. It just occurred to me as well, I don't know when we last saved. I don't know if we saved right before the save state. But yeah, it's uh... our grandmother. Well, <laughs> grandmother by proxy, I think. Save that for us. Oh, Arma, you much prefer 6 forms to GCSE, you're doing 3 to 4. Yeah, you're just able to narrow down what you actually want to do, don't you? Which, uh... I felt bad to admit this to Jittery, because she's a qualified biologist and whatnot, but I was like, yeah, as soon as I got to A-level, I dropped science as soon as I could. Yeah, same. So, um, uh, really? I'm, only, I'm, I'm only doing, um, like, non-essay subjects. Oh, I tell so, like, M maths for the maths and um, computing. Mm. Um, but oh. no, sorry, go on. I was gonna say uh, we've got like a. Um, I have to. I have to do uh, extended project qualification, mm. so I have to write a five thousand word essay about like something of my choice. Oh wow. <laughs> If you say seven of your choice, are we? Because I think we're like mastermind or something where they like you just <laughs> like. I yeah, said. well, I mean, we can we can choose like whatever kind of topic we want, mm -hmm. as long as it doesn't like kind of tie with uh, the syllabus of any A levels we're doing. Mm. Have you got anything in mind for that? Um, I'm doing mine on like the uh, like the nature of psychopathy. Oh my goodness, fair play. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well done. Hello, Papaya, how are you doing? Did, did you just like poof in a <laughs> gust of smoke, uh, Papaya? I prove. I'm gonna wait. Oh, oh no, I'm no. okay. <laughs> So tough to um I think it's tricky the bit where you're climbing up, you like going between the ropes isn't that quick. It's tough to kind of account for that. There we go, so get that. There we go. Hi Electro, how are you doing man? Oh Electro are actually uh, on the snares, we're kind of in your uh well, if you're retro favourites, up not they? This was very late snares, uh, 95 us. How are you doing, Electro? I mean, the next game, DKC3, that was so late, the N64 appears in it. <laughs> when Peacock is playing it. Ah, oh, jeez! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we knocked against her. 
Oh, I'm, I'm super sus, apparently. Yeah, I just saw. <laughs> oh, it's Lax. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's when they were doing Thank the. Uh, uh, they were doing like the silicon graphics, uh, Lecture, yeah. Uh, sorry, guys, go on. I was going to say, yes, I am super sus. <laughs> I guess I can tolerate sus thus to a point. <laughs> Oh, I like it. You know what's super sus, actually? I haven't bought a Modus yet on Switch, and I probably will. I haven't either. I don't think... I'm, I'm just thinking might as well not, because I've got it on PC, and mm. it would definitely be easier on PC than it is on Switch. <laughs> Thank you again for buying me that on PC, by the way. <laughs> but the amount of hours I've got out of it, it's... Uh, very appreciate it. It's... it's um, I have seen people saying, like, oh, why is it £4 on Switch when it's free on mobile, which... Yeah. I, I guess if it had the option to play it free with ads, that would be nice. Yeah, could you imagine Could you imagine adverts on a Switch game? That would feel weird, that, yeah. That would be so weird. I, and something about mobile ads, I find... I don't know how to... I, know, I find them really skippy. This is something where it's like... Oh. Yeah, well, didn't, didn't you know that 90% of people can't clear this level? <laughs> oh, goodness. Could you imagine like a DKC advert just saying, yeah, 90% of people can't clear this Donkey Kong level. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do it? Oh, no, did we just walk past the DK barrel? Was that on the road? No, no, no. That was, um, that was at like the start. Uh... God, I, I, did, I forgot this, but I think I forgot how tough this gets. <laughs> Well, I think it's the fact it's sustained difficulty and, um... Because we're doing a lot of the little bits fine. Um, it's just how long you have you can go with very few mistakes, really. Oh my god, Faz! <laughs> Hello, Faz! How are you doing? Oh, everyone with the red usernames is coming okay, there. Uh, which red is kind of a DK colour. It's not a really a Diddy colour. How are you doing, Faz? Thank you for coming in. Thank you for hosting. Thank you for making DK dance. Yeah, I think of like uh, by the time they got to releasing Dark Souls, like Namco US, they really like played up the difficulty in the marketing. It's uh, you can kind of get some street cred by oh, this game is really hard. So... I'm going to put this on my CV when we finish. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> <laughs> What would you say is like, if not the most difficult game you finished, what was like a really difficult game you finished? Um, oh, I don't know. I, um... I mean, it doesn't really count, but there are a lot of like difficult Mario Maker levels that I've done. No, I think that counts. I think that's, uh... Sort of a... Uh, <laughs> it's with it. I can never get past that bit without taking the hurt. No, I'd say that's within the realm. <laughs> you should get your nephew to play this uh, armor. <laughs> yeah, I'll get my... Uh, yeah, the three-month nephew I'm going to get to play Hades as well. I'll get him on those. Ooh, oh, that is fast. Oh, that would have done it as well, yeah. It's, I mean, Dixie's throw is probably not an advantage there because there's a bit of a wind-up. To it. I mean, the advantage to her is you could like jump up into enemies from below, holding the barrel. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit like Donkey Kong. There's a bit more of a wind up. I want to play Mega Man and Base at some point. Um, I assume you're mentioning the GBA version of it because that's the honestly not the ideal one. <laughs> Probably just go for the translates. So that's wrong, but. Uh... Yeah, that bit I don't find too bad. Yeah, my one worry is we get this done and then... Well, actually... Oh, no, actually, I'll tell you what. After we do this level, we'll uh, we'll go back to this world. We'll save. And we'll use Funky Con's uh, servers as uh, the ever-beloved. Most uh, kind of ironically and unironically beloved, I get the impression. <laughs> Especially when funky mode Hulk comes into it. Right, so you go there. Okay. Oh, thank God, finally. Okay. <laughs> you really have to take advantage of the fact the eggs go where you do that, I think. 
Oh god, I see what you- I, I haven't done this bit really until now. I see what you mean here in terms of... There we go! Oh, there we go. <laughs> it, was, it was good timing, we're on our last life. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, whatever we do, um, I think you might be in control now. Don't go I to the next so. world. Yeah, go down. Yeah, save. And then save, yeah, because otherwise we're going to just... Uh... <laughs> so just go to ring click on, on the bottom right. Hiya, pretty. That's... Um, there's been a lot of falling, I'm afraid. <laughs> but we'll do what we can. How are you doing, pretty? Thank you for coming out. Yeah, thank you everyone for coming in. I, I'm not streaming much this month, if I'm... Uh... If I'm honest, but I'm doing this today with Guardian, and then I'm also doing Portal 2 with Jeff tomorrow, probably with a 6 o'clock start, which is two, uh, one hour and three minutes from now today for those not in the UK. Uh, not in the UK. Uh, yeah, so funky uh, top, top middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> there we are. I don't understand the logistics. Uh, I never understood the logistics of this. He's just kind of surfing midair. Um, I kind of forgot. I kind of ignored the logistics, like when we um, <laughs> when, when when we were playing as monkeys trying to um, recover um, another monkey. So, <laughs> see, uh, I had honed my suspension of disbelief, I think, to get past that. But the the midair surfing monkey—that was my breaking point. <laughs> That's when I. Uh... Yeah. Mind you, I think Paul might have got me back there because he said uh, Funky Con's using the power of funk. And I'm very happy to uh, believe that. <laughs> no worries oh, at yeah. all on the lurking papaya. Um, oh, Mr. Papaya sends his love as well. Oh, lovely to hear. No, I hope you're both doing well. In a bit, papaya. Electro, you guarantee more people will spend, will spend more hours in the Monos than uh, Cyberpunk. <laughs> I don't doubt that. <laughs> I don't, maybe in like three years, I might get Cyberpunk, like when it's just been fixed in every way and, uh, and it's cheaper. When it gets its 2077 patches. <laughs> <gasps> I get that joke. <laughs> I mean, I have, to, I have seen stuff though where it's like, this seems a little. Uh, it's like a cyberpunk game made by corporate people, which it is, I guess. <laughs> but, um, like it maybe isn't as punk. Not that I'm... Oh, wait, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully... Mm, can vaguely remember this level. I feel like maybe you'll be at the star barrel when you get to the further left here. Oh. Maybe we will. <laughs> yeah. Oh, lie. Were you um, streaming that? I mean, I mean oh, but to be fair, it might be the sort of thing where you play a maybe your experience isn't that bad compared to like the worst ones online. I have seen a few people say theirs relatively wasn't as like. Uh, I mean, the impression I get is most people play that do come across characters T posing because they haven't loaded in properly. <laughs> Which, amusingly enough, I had that with like a little monkey zombie in uh, The Last of Us Remasters uh, a couple of years back. Yeah, it does seem like a. Uh... It does seem like a bit of a Bethesda at launch kind of situation. Which, uh, you know, it is quite nice to be part of a new game, like the discussion of it as it comes out, but I, I think most people would agree this. I mean, if you, if you want to play a game, you play it, obviously, but... I think most people, you can probably wait on Cyberpunk and you'll be better for it. I mean, I'm still obsessively... It doesn't really, it doesn't really help their case that they um, did it on Crunch, either. Yeah, well, sustained crunch, isn't it? And it's sort of yeah. like, probably that's going to continue as well, most likely. As they uh, try and... I mean, it's just clearly a game with just such an incredibly large amount of scope to it. And, uh... Unless you get 15 um, bananas, that um, star barrel doesn't matter. Oh, do we still have zero lives? Yeah. 
the... It doesn't need, like, reminders in the level design where it's like, okay, there's a banana trail here, we can do the whole down A thing to, uh... There we go. You explode, mate. One of the most beautiful pieces of music in this game as well. <laughs> and usually the thing with this game is the more relaxing the music, the more nightmarishly difficult the level is. Like to be. That'll be a nightmare if we had ju if you had just died before you got that. <laughs> oh no! Oh. We could, oh, we could have done no. that. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, it even floats off to make it worse. <laughs> Yeah, that's gotta be, uh... Oh, actually, I don't know how we... Oh, I see. Ah, oh, no, I don't think that's shut by enough for that. Yeah, no. <laughs> Wait, which one? Oh, we didn't get one, okay. Um... <laughs> oh, God. Should we save? That's not a save. <laughs> Is it that's not? Just, that's just cranky giving advice, yeah. Oh. I mean, we probably need it. <laughs> yeah, I think they said, like, in the new year, um, there'll be patches coming for it. Um, oh, God, they're working on that as well, Slacks. The, um, the Witch, the, like, Witcher 3 update. Gosh. Barrel there. Yeah, I suspect this is what the, uh... <laughs> there are just certain times you just think of, like, this is probably, like, the worst week of PR this company has ever had. It's probably safe to say that's the case with CG Project Red at the moment, isn't there? Yeah. I think previously often had the reputation of being, like, a kind of a cool... sort of underground thing, although if you ever look at their financials, it's like, oh yeah, they're, they're raking it in. Says we're... Yeah, I mean it's good that they it's good that they offered refunds, like oh. uh, because of um... mm. although isn't that whole situation a bit crazy at the moment? Because like I'd like Sony. Uh, I think I saw Sony was saying wait until the patch, the January patch, for them to fix stuff. Yeah, it'd be a big patch mm -hmm. if they fixed everything. <laughs> I mean, the nice thing is they apparently do have a, like a. Again, unfortunately, this might lead to more crunch, but they do have a reputation for uh, really supporting their stuff. That's the one thing. If something comes out and release in a broken state, like it does suck and it's annoying as a consumer. It is also kind of like with this kind of complex product, like it's not that abnormal for things to go wrong at launch. It's just kind of a case of okay, are they going to keep supporting it? Um, because one example that comes to mind on that is the PC port of Horizon Zero Dawn, which launched in a pretty rough state in August, and they're still actively patching it. And it's not to excuse the state it launched in, but I think that just makes the world of difference if you do, if you can rely on that continued support. No. Yeah. Which honestly isn't always the case with dodgy PC ports of console games, so... Like, I don't know if I'm just, like, praising what should just be the standard there, but that's not always the case. I'm just like, oh, thank you for actually <laughs> making me okay with possibly buying this at some point. Another annoying thing that I've seen on, like, um, Twitter is that uh, people are complaining about Cyberpunk being rushed, and, this is the, and these are the same people who um, kept complaining when it got delayed. <laughs> It's like, make your mind up, what do you want? I, I think they just set out to make like the most ambitious game ever, really, didn't they? And that's, yeah, like, yeah. That ambition statement is always going to be very... Ah, damn it. It'll be very damn it. <laughs> it's always going to be a rough one, so... And well, if, if anyone was looking forward to Cyberpunk and it's not the state they want in, you know, you can... 
I suppose if you've waited this long, you can wait a bit longer. <laughs> not, not that that's that comforting, I guess, but... And in the meantime, just play Hades. Everyone play Hades. It, it's on my list. It's very recommended. <laughs> it, it's been completely my obsession. Like, it, it's been increasing as well, my obsession on it. Right, back to screaming about this. <laughs> Pretty just played the armor back to screaming about this sound effect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll try not to scream about Hades, but I'm like, no. Fuck fucking widescreen, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is a widescreen Hades. Oh, I like it when a game like this does this, where it puts an, uh, an extra live that respawns after the checkpoint. Yeah. So as long as we. Spare it, man. <laughs> Oh, you got you got we got another life from bananas anyway. Oh, just that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have had it. Hold on. Fucking widescreen. <laughs> oh, bless you, Arby. You're a good sport about the. <laughs> and you know your enthusiasm's great, Arby. It's very contagious. Oh god, Arbor, oh. I hope one day you're, like, you, you're able to get like an ultra widescreen monitor, Arbor. <laughs> and then apparently have the experience oh. where most games don't support it, but... <laughs> well, some do. I think more do than ever, but... Well, there are so many Fred the Needle style bits in this. This this looks so stressful. <laughs> that, 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 that's where I died, I think. So we, I, I think we will try and stick to not safe state in there, but we certainly don't look down on anyone doing that. Just, well, just play games how you want to. Um, I can certainly see why people would do it on this, because there are just so many sustained. Like, we're, we're, we're getting a lot of the tough sections done. It's just... There's just so many strings strung together without... <laughs> much room for error. That's what makes it so tricky. Ooh. I'm not risking that. <laughs> uh, again, we're, we're being somewhat gentle. This is one of those games where if you want 100% it, it's very tough. Which, um... Oh yeah, it, make sure you save first. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lai, yeah, of course, because you're a big fan of Supergiant Games, the developer of Hades, aren't you, Lai? I've only really played Bastion and now... Uh... Hades. Um, I've got Transistor to play at some point. Although I've seen that go really cheap on sale on Switch, so I might just buy it on there and play it there. Oh, sis. And I want to pick up Pyre at some point. I remember having a discussion with you on all of these, uh, like... I, I want to say maybe when I was driving you somewhere. <laughs> I mean, that might be Nintendo South Wales related, but... Yeah, I really want to play all their games after... I did really like Bastion and... Yeah, Hades is just completely... Um, I'm close to 60 hours on it now, like... <laughs> it's, I, I've reached the credits on it, as I say, but... Now I'm trying to, like, get the affinity up with all the Olympian gods... Uh, relationship in Persona style. <laughs> Let's get, like, the post, like, the proper epilogue and all that. And I'm obsessed with, like, getting all the Titan's bloods to level up aspects and all the rest of it. <laughs> it's really got its hooks in me. Yeah, that, the music in their games is so good as well, Lai. Yeah, every time there's a vocal song, I always get really excited because they're just always so good. Like, I'm obsessed with a couple even from, like, Pyre or Transistor, which, as I say, aren't really games I've played. Uh, hopefully in time. Uh, I've played about eight hours of Final Fantasy X armor. <laughs> That's more than zero. One. Correct. <laughs> See, we have got the mask on, yeah? <laughs> Correct. Eight is greater than zero. I learned this yesterday <laughs> in my maths lesson. <laughs> no kidding. It reminds me of when, um, if I tell people I do English, and it's just like, oh, you've got the biggest vo vocabulary in the world. I was like, but not just there studying the dictionary 24-7. Ooh. Ugh. 
Oh, is it gonna let me? Oh yeah, it's it's at least nice. You don't get many mercies in this game, so it's at least nice there. It lowers the platform a bit. Oh, hello, Jitter. <laughs> Hi, darling. How are you doing? That yeah, she can she can confirm my Hades obsession. <laughs> There's been a lot of dot dot dot. I just started another run. I've heard enough. I can confirm your um, PD's obsession as well. <laughs> I'm trying not to be too obnoxious about it. I'll probably still be the little bit realistic. But... Yeah, it's. Uh... Honestly, if we weren't doing this, I would probably be on it. Oh. Oh. But to be honest, I'm actually really glad we're doing this just for a change of pace, even if. It is taking a break from a difficult game with another difficult game. <laughs> difficult nostalgic game, though. That's impressive as well. Uh, actually, no, I tell you what. I was going to point out a background detail. I was like, wait, no, let's let's let guards focus on the tricky platform. Uh, okay, stay right, stay right. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it now. <laughs> yeah, oh no, good show. Having that. The arrows, are, the arrows lag is a bit secret, but I'm just trying to survive. Oh no! I'm oh, okay. <laughs> oh, every time you've been on Steam, you've seen me playing Hades. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's uh, maybe I'll get one more stream out of it. It's mostly a game I'm playing off stream, obviously. Hades is this game's project name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think uh, Seventh Circle of Hell was its beta name before that. <laughs> the, for what it's worth, the next game is a bit more gentle. Uh, still tough. I think most people agree this is the hardest of the three. The third one might be roughly on par with the first game. Uh, Difficulty wise, I mean. Um, yeah. Granted, there is one level that reverses your controls in uh, DKC3, which is... Oh, no, God. That's no I'm excited one. for that. <laughs> <laughs> that's no one's favourite gimmick. <laughs> but, uh... Also, I'm afraid you'll have to be the baby character nobody likes on that one, because that's the player 2 one. Oh, dear. <laughs> which which one? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen... Who is it from? Is it someone from Game Explain who's kind of obsessed with... John Cartwright. That's right, yeah. The, yeah, he's the one who left, isn't he? I mean, they. I'm pretty sure most of them have left now. Oh, right. Uh, Andre, uh, is it Andre? Um, yeah, Andre is still there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's he, um, he founded Game Explain, so... Right, yeah. I don't think he's going anywhere. <laughs> I think Derek and Ash left. Hmm. Do they still do their... Uh, which they have hopes for that themselves, they're like super long analysis of uh, the very minute, like, uh, if it's just like a two-minute trailer, they can just analyse so much from it. They still do those kind of videos? Oh. I think so, yeah. Wow. Um, uh... <laughs> oh my god. No, that was it. I kept thinking they... that's got to get crushed. I think, ironically, I think that character's name is Crusher as well. I might be wrong. But like, I was like, they've got to surely get crushed at some point. <laughs> and nope, they just ran every which way. I think if that happens again, I... <laughs> Actually, yeah, now that I remember, I can throw you at them. <laughs> and that won't kill you, uh, you will have to take my word on that. As long as you make contact... I'm scared, Jason. <laughs> That's a bit of a... Oh, no, he wouldn't. No, they count counts down one, two. He would. <laughs> uh, weaponize his own... Uh, his own parlor and crime. Yeah, look at the, like... You know, it's like the 3D fill in the background. Uh, just above us here. Look at it. There. What? You see, like, the... It's like the floor... Kind of, it looks like a texture, they're moving up and down. Oh, yeah. I swear it's impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's like some kind of trick they're doing on that. I wanted to point that out to you oh. earlier, and I was like, wait, let's... Uh, let's oh, wait, no, I think, I think I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd say... Oh, that's a please be impressed kind of statement. 
Oh, uh, DK Barrel near. Where was that? Oh, to the right there. Ah, well done. Nice, okay. He got crushed that time. <laughs> Thank God. No, oh, great. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Oh, of course, because they rise up with us. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, wow. I think this is one of the mo more notorious levels of this. <laughs> I mean, we're on 10 to 5, man. <laughs> Our uh, jazz about parties, do you know how the sprites in DKC2 were? <laughs> Hi, uh, sorry, also, hello, Retro Gamer. Sorry, I'm a bit uh, slow saying hello. Yeah, uh, haircut a couple of weeks back. Uh, um retro by a thankfully a visored up and masked up hairdresser it's been over a week since then so all good i haven't got my hair cut since like um september i think i think i'm gonna um grow it out oh good man uh, um i'm gonna sound like an old man here at your age are you <laughs> The, the, the photos of me at your age with like proper mullet with split ends and all the rest of it. It's uh, you can look like 17 year old Jasm. Would it want that? Oh, yeah, no, who who wouldn't want that? <laughs> I don't know. If you see the photos, I'll be like, okay, no, I don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jax. How you doing, man? Thank you for coming in, Jax. We're doing some DKC2 co op. Online on the Switch. Snares up here with Garge on Discord. How are you today, Jax? Oh, it's such a tease that, like, okay, there is a DK battle here, but you've got to <laughs> do some immensely tricky platforming just to have another chance to live. You have to avoid the most annoying enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That's quite a. Uh, in this game, there's quite a few that qualify for that. <laughs> Look where a real G uh, gorge. Oh, sorry, I should probably clarify for those watching. I'm Diddy, uh, Red Cap, Monkey Boy, and uh, Gorge is Dixie, Ponytail Monkey Girl. And then the next. That sounds, game. Like, a, that sounds, that sounds like a flash game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, flash games can be about this hard, right? It's all probably hard, yeah. actually. So, <laughs> yeah. And then the next game, I'll be Dixie, and uh, <laughs> so uh, Garge will be the ever beloved uh, Decon. I hope that's not. I hope that's not too infantilizing, sir. So. I'm. I'm. I'm absolutely devastated. <laughs> I believe yeah. that. <laughs> I don't think we've got a game over yet, so... Uh, shock we're, 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 uh, we're hanging don't, on. Don't uh, go and save first, just in case. Yeah. Uh, did we have zero lives? Wow. Um, I think so. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness there's a surprisingly robust education system on the enemy island. <laughs> and by one of our own, no less. <laughs> Oh, did yes. you notice the chalkboards in there as well? Like, all of them are on the sounds. Are they? <laughs> yeah. I, um... I mean, the implication is Wrinkly Con there is, like, educated every crab on the island, so she's probably stretched thin a bit. I guess they're just a poorly educated mass bless them. Maybe there's a bit more of a sympathetic bend. Is there a DK barrel? Yes, there is. There we go, so seal uh <laughs> in that very seal like way. There's a kiss from the rose. But also freezes the water. There we go. I love it we're not that far from the Ah, sorry. <laughs> That's totally the thing I said could happen where if I don't launch you directly at the end 
Jesus. I can't believe you. <laughs> yeah, so I need to make sure when I throw you, you do hit the enemy. If you land on the ground, you're not dead then. I can like I just have to go and pick you up. I just have to like walk over you. But you are vulnerable to enemy attacks, as is what just happened there. So sorry. <laughs> We used the DK power at the start, didn't we, just now? At least I haven't got you to... ...weaponize unsuccessfully that time. Run the duck! There we go. Yeah, so there's, there's a... Good chance we could get this done before seven, uh, before Nim's stream. <laughs> the, the ideal would be for us to, uh, I suppose the ideal for us would be to raid uh, Nim's stream if the time it lines up. Yeah. I had to be able to balance the moment the other day when I was meant to be calling. Um, I was redeeming a game code that, uh, Nim's got for me because of uh, got for me because he's doing that a lot at the moment, isn't he? Giving them out. Yeah. And I, I had like his messenger, his Discord messenger on screen to copy that. And then my head, I was like, okay, let's also call Jutsuru. So of course I ended up calling Nims instead. <laughs> <laughs> and bless him, he was like, oh hello, Jazz, in just a second. He, he would have been happy to <laughs> do this completely unprompted call. Uh, bless him. And... <laughs> It's sad to be like, I'm really sorry, but I, I don't know how often people do this, but I've just done a wrong number call on this call. That, that, uh, that would have been a different scenario if I had rang him. <laughs> oh, no. I, th I, think, I think he might have blocked me. <laughs> oh no! Bad. Oh, God. <laughs> no, yeah, it's a... <laughs> we had a good laugh about but, it. Was always... especially, especially after that Jackbox stream. <laughs> Oh dear. I, I didn't catch all of that. I was there for like the... Ah, oh, damn it, sorry. I really shouldn't have gone for that, Drew. <laughs> oh, what the... Um... Yeah, I, I caught the, like, presentations bit. I don't think you were on by that point, because I saw that in the robot rap one. Um... Oh my god, Cricket then. Oh, oh hello, Cricket. <laughs> They've redeemed Shadow the Hedgehog as a buddy redeem. <laughs> I forgot I put that back on. <laughs> yes, exactly, Armour. Oh, that is what Nims would say. <laughs> okay, when God is Ooh, in control. Oh, let's start working on getting Shadow. Uh... Well, actually, oh, damn it. Thanks to Plastic, I do actually have a little Shadow. I mean, he's absolutely tiny, but I've got like a little Shadow fin there. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> what if I. What if I put the microphone there? Uh... Yeah, just like... what, are these, what are these names? <laughs> Guardian in charge, Guardian at large. Oh my god. <laughs> It's because of the Buddy Redeem, uh, Paul wants a uh, Buddy Cop TV series called but Guardian in Large. <laughs> no, Guardian in Charge, not Guardian in Large. Sarge <laughs> Okay, I'll have to do with Shadow for now. Um, yeah, and then we'll... Nah, no. <laughs> Shadow at the least um, workable angle possible. Garge on the barge! I'll, I'll, I'll only... I'll only... Um, I'll only accept these... Um, if they're made in Japan, like really poorly, <laughs> you want the, like, uh, like that's like that Spider-Man. I was gonna say you want the production value of Japanese Spider-Man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Equally good theme song as well, do. Sarge Garja in charge and at large. <laughs> Definitely easier than the last time, wasn't it? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what?
Should we save again? Yeah, I had to save after every level. Uh... <laughs> um, I found... I oh, got go for it. 9 divided by 3 is 6. Eight, uh, 8 times 1 is 9, and 4 plus 2 is 5. <laughs> Can you confirm all three of those? <laughs> yes. I should have said all four of those, just to, to do the bad maths. <laughs> yeah, that would be... <laughs> Oh no, that last bit retro, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, I found an image of Hank Hill carrying Shadow the Hedgehog. What the? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't the game's lighting up anytime soon, I'm afraid. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <gasps> uh, hold on, which way? <laughs> no, I was looking up Shadow the Hedgehog images. <laughs> okay, yeah, up this way. I'm looking at these awful um, TV show names. <laughs> <laughs> Sarge Garge in charge and at large, living on a barge, making out with Marge and Farage. <laughs> <laughs> My you, you picked a, an incredibly rhymable name there. <laughs> Large Garge in charge of, uh, of the garage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You kind of spoil the you kind of spoil the series in in the name, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's like enough of an outline for like ten seasons of it. <laughs> it's just going to be like a Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got a very festive uh, theme to it. Yeah, yeah gorge. <laughs> I love it when Slacks' imagination gets firing. <laughs> <laughs> Slacks. <laughs> This enemy is horrible. It's, it's a really weird thing they do. They knock out extra lives out of you. No, oh, God. Yeah, like, like you're still there on the level. It's not like... There's not a lot to knock out though, is there? So, I no, mean... No, yeah. <laughs> but you can get them back. It just knocks them out as the wallop balloons. Yeah, those eight seasons in the movie are just the pilot retro. Yeah, the jokes on that enemy because we've got no lives. Definitely not on us. We were talking about shows being on Netflix. Will this be on? Will this be like a prestige Netflix original? Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> if I've if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> well, we'll go with the hefty production values of Japanese Spider-Man. So it's. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's to be guard. guard field. Oh my goodness, uh, Jax. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Lee. How are you doing, fella? Thank you for coming in. Welcome to this the... Is too uh... This is too much fun. <laughs> so you're playing a good game there as a base guard, even though. Yeah. When we're taking it in turns like this. <laughs> party on Wade, card, party on guard. <laughs> yeah, you're played by... Um... Taylor Carvey. Wayne's world. Hi, right, Gamba Danes. How are you doing, man? Thank you for coming in. Playing a very good, but very difficult game. I'll wait until Nim says about these names. <laughs> just, 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 just spam him with like Garge TV show names in his chat. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm it. sure he'll. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. <laughs> oh, wow, Dixie zipped across the screen now. Um, I was going to say, could we go into like a game of Among Us with all of those as usernames? But I don't know how the character limit would uh, <laughs> might not be that fit into. I, I guess we all just came in as guards. Just, you, could, you could just just say uh, guard and then Marge, Raj. <laughs> <laughs> Which way am I going? I assume the. Oh yes, definitely laugh there. <laughs> If we get the star barrel, the checkpoint. 
Oh, glad to hear it, yeah. You take it easy, man, yeah, of course. Right, let me try and sort out uh -huh, Shadow, finally. Oh, so these yellow ones take bananas off you. Okay. There we go, there's a bit baffled looking shadow head. <laughs> we'll give him a gun now. <laughs> but what, what's a comical gun we could give shadow? Gosh. Um... Then... Oh, I don't know. Possibly a phantomizing one. A water gun or something. What about the gun they're using Among Us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a fun four light of the hammer. It's <laughs> time I have to knock that to catch. Oh, oh dear. First game over. Yeah. I don't think we've seen it yet oh, on this oh one. Oh my god, That's... give Shadow the massive unit. <laughs> there you go. I couldn't make out what this was at the Game Boy version. It's. <laughs> Or at least I could make Dixie, out Dixie, Dixie's side. Dixie yeah. looks so disappointed. Yeah. Like there's vir Virtual Boy Vision at the end as well to make it especially. <laughs> yeah. Especially Grizzly. That, that's, that's a stab in the back, making it look like we just did this on a Virtual Boy. <laughs> Actually, funnily enough, there is like a mock-up image of a Virtual Boy version of this they never made. I swear Virtual Boy is the, or the origin of Mario Tennis as well. That's right, yeah, that's the first kind of big major Mario sports game like that, yeah. Here you go, Armour. There we go, we're giving the late bit shadow a massive beauty you can't make out. No, oh, actually, maybe that will... There we go. <laughs> Let's make it comically big so <laughs> you can see it. So, sorry, who have we got? Uh, hello, uh, Divinius Maximus 13. Thank you for coming in. Uh, no. How are we doing, everyone? The shadow's eye bleeding. God, I hope not. <laughs> it's already a bit of a misery gut. We don't want him to be, uh, ooh, even though. <laughs> More reason to be unhappy. Yeah, at least on this world, they, you get a couple levels in, they're like, alright, you can have the uh, save point. The only thing is that would have reset, yeah, that's reset our banana, count, uh, banana coin count. <laughs> Which, uh, if you leave the game just like powered on like we did because of the safe state, those all, uh, you end up with a lot of banana coins, which I think is why the game doesn't save those. Yeah. Otherwise, like when you reload it, you just go down to zero again. In theory, it's a way to build up a number of lives as well, although. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe less so on this game. <laughs> Ah, oh, nice, uh, Divinius. Yeah, I, I love, um... I'm a big fan of all three of these games. Uh, and the Game Boy. Sort of port, sort of new games. That is such a good use of the Emoji 3. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jerry, yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, I love that that fits as well as it does. <laughs> well, I think DK's holding his hand up just because it... Uh, even for his massive head, it's a big hat, so... <laughs> It's, 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 like, it's like when you, it's like taking your top hat off saying Merry Christmas, you know? <laughs> He's like Scrooge uh, post uh, the visits if he goes. Yeah. Although I, ha I have DK that was a festive, so I think he likes Christmas. E Ebenezer um, Kong. <laughs> well, Cranky is basically perpetually uh, moody Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> I don't think he ever really has his... Uh... <laughs> Is it three ghosts and change of heart though? Do you think do you think Cranky's a capitalist? <laughs> uh, well as far as extended Mario universe characters go, it's safe to say Wario's at the very least a libertarian. Or <laughs> <laughs> a capitalist, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Retro! <laughs> oh, nice to all having fun with the Christmas. I haven't seen these, the Christmas modifiers. I love these, though. <laughs> I want that as well, actually. I'm going to get the um, 
Donkey Kong Christmas time. Well, we need to dress up your Minesweeper flag. With, uh, oh, yes! <laughs> 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 oh, glad you... Yeah, I love the one Lee did with <laughs> DK looking uh, a bit perturbed by the fact that he had covering his eyes as well. <laughs> it's like a comical case of putting a hat on it, it just kind of goes on a bit too much. <laughs> Poor lads. And he's fighting the biggest Santa hat, isn't he? He ordered the size too big. I know as well as Donkey Kong games I got for Christmas, I definitely got Diddy Kong Racing with RN64. Which doesn't actually have Donkey Kong, a bit like this game, I guess, in a way. Didn't Diddy Kong Racing have Banjo? It did, yeah. Not Kazuri, I, I guess she was just... I mean, I mean, he's got his backpack, so I guess she just stayed in there the whole time. It's got uh, Conquer as well. Um, I guess pre taste of alcohol <laughs> before he got corrupted in his own. Well, he had a cutesy N60, uh, a cutesy Game Boy Color game, and then the N64 one obviously went very far the other direction. I'm not gonna risk those two. Let's just keep going. Jesus. <laughs> not gonna risk those two. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh, we went to the... Yeah, I just keep going. <laughs> I, uh... Probably should have stuck to my original ethos there. <laughs> didn't see that, didn't see that, didn't see that. Oh, do me. I want that. Lee's Donkey Kong looks like he fell asleep after Xmas dinner. <laughs> oh, he's just like, uh, grandpa, uh, grandpa style. Uh, sleeping on the, uh... On the, uh, arm chair, <gasps> is he? <laughs> For lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice retro. Yeah, we got uh, Donkey Kong 64 for... I think we have that on Boxing Day, weird, though. For that, uh, 99, I think. Yeah, that's when that came. Oh, actually, I did ask for the Game Boy Color port of Donkey Kong Country 1. In, uh, I think, 2000. Ooh. Oh, this works so well. <laughs> look, look at this, look at this. Uh, oh. I better make sure I'm safe first. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I thank God I didn't look away there. <laughs> It is really, like the level design is so good and it's such clever yeah, kind of just yeah. like that. Man. Ooh, ah! <laughs> okay, saying that that's a little cruel. <laughs> a lot of advanced notice of that bit there. Oh, that's even worse. All that bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice, yeah, you, you did you did do the flag up. Nice. Yeah. Oh I'm no retro. No, retro, we did actually funny thing, retro, we got the N64 Christmas nineteen ninety seven. We did get that on Christmas Day, but there was actually a power cut in my local area <laughs> for most of the day, so there was a lot of us just longingly looking after, looking at the N64. And uh, uh, I'm not about to paint this as though we were the uh, most unfortunate children on Christmas morning. <laughs> oh, from it. But, but we had been looking forward to that pin for like several months, I think, by that point. We'd like. We had like a promotional video, VHS, we watched over and over and all that. We did still a bit too. Uh... <laughs> Not be able to play for most of it, but yeah, I think I think sometimes we would get uh, a few extra things boxing day as well. <laughs> yeah, bless my mum, I think she loves giving us stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! Sorry, that was getting too deep into Christmas nostalgia. <laughs> Ooh, oh no! Oh, unlucky. Look at look yeah. at the other um, Christmas emotes. 
I think power cuts still happen occasionally by retro. I mean, is there just like more protective measures in place? Yeah, of all the days that could have happened. <laughs> but yeah, with Donkey Kong 64, I think we opened Boxing Day a couple of years later. I do remember having the male babysitter come over one time and I was playing Donkey Kong 64's Chunky Kong. And <laughs> I got a bit embarrassed at how juvenile it looks. <laughs> He's kind of the goofiest character in that game. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I should have. I'm going to stop talking Christmas memories, but <laughs> different difficult platforming bits. I mean, my defense, I thought that'd be safe. Is <laughs> it banana corn stew? Yeah, that's nice one. No. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, I think Pets did tell that story. Yeah, come uh It's the uh, sleepy playing game over logo. <laughs> we'll get it, guard. We'll get that. Yes. We still got like uh, again. It's not. We're not being pushed too much time wise. If we don't get it done this stream, we'll. Uh, do it down the line, but well, we'll try and finish this down the line. But we have got like an hour, and we'll save 40 minutes in case you want to have a quick break between us stopping and then it's seven o'clock. Uh, so he's doing the Smash Brothers tournament, is he? Then, yeah, it's for his um Christmas thing. Nice. Was that like sign ups? Was sign ups before that, or was it just kind of whoever turns up? Um, it was sign ups before that. I think um, I think I saw on the chat that someone added you on his Discord, oh, uh, yeah. saying if you wanted to uh, join, like not too long ago. Let's have a look, actually. Uh, I don't know if it's like that offer still up or. Yeah, it's 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 more than fair enough. If not, I've uh, have a quick chat to see if. It'll... Yeah, I think I. I think Pixel Squid, I think I saw you tag me in some of that. I'll probably look at the sec now. Oh, that is good then, if, because uh, I mean, aside from like the uh, weak, I mean, granted, having a power cut nowadays isn't as bad as, uh, as you know, your phone will probably, will likely still have charge, you can just go on 4G or whatever. <laughs> Back then, you might have to have read a book or something, oh god. <laughs> I, I said that somebody did like reading a lot. <laughs> you seen that um, recently Twitch has banned uh, like three words that. Um, oh, yeah. The, the... Um, in, in Kasai's stream, Litwick and I were messing around and we were trying to get him to say them. Um, oh, I, 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 um, I typed in his chat because he, he reads chat out loud. I said, um, What's your opinion of. Um, Nuclei being in cells, so trying to get him to say uh, in cells. Uh, <laughs> um, I think he avoided saying that. We also saying um, country roads for him to try and say um, Virginia. Uh, <laughs> you didn't tell me to see him next Tuesday or whatever, did you? Sorry. You didn't say he's telling me to see you next Tuesday or whatever. <gasps> what do you mean? Oh, uh, as in C U N. Oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's not that's not one of the bad words anyway. That's, that's not a bad word. I don't think. I hope not, because I think I've said it once in my stream. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're safe. Uh, you'll be safe. <laughs> I think it's because it's a C word. Uh, right. So. Uh, no, hate is the word you really like, is the letter you yeah. like, isn't it? I, yeah. I, I, I need to be careful not to get that confused, because I could easily be like... No, hate is the one you love, C is the one you don't like, and uh, <laughs> last J is a middle in one for you, right? Oh yeah. Not the worst, not the worst. <laughs> Fair enough. Hi, Matt! Alright, never detail that Retro, <laughs> never detail that was to... Well, I guess it's more of a chat fit, isn't it? This is terrifying. Just like imagine, imagine this in real life. 
<laughs> Are we still monkeys in this hypothetical scenario? No, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. I want this back, I want this back, I want this back. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I regret or don't regret to report that. It's 69 bananas as well. Ooh, well done. How are you doing, Matt? Thank you for coming in. Ooh, see, yeah. <laughs> Which, That's terrifying. The reality of Donkey Kong, what is happening? <laughs> I just feel like a, a soul leave our body as he <laughs> knocks the life out of us. Well done, that, yeah, was a really, banana well done, that was a really good run. It was, yes. <laughs> Which I almost said during there, and I was like, well, I'm terribly superstitious, but I'd rather not tempt fate. <laughs> Oh, we can't, oh, we can't save. No. <laughs> okay. We needed to. We needed to get that um thing they give you a free one at the uh, checkpoint, don't they? Mm. Oh, this is a pretty tough one as well. <laughs> Can this come? <laughs> Got very creative there. Ah, oh, no worries, Matt. I hope work is going well. I hope it's less difficult than this game. Your workload. <laughs> I think it could probably be. Nuclear. Oh. Probably be astrophysics or something similar, and it wouldn't be harder than this go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, those bananas were so not worth it. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, God, that green's not easy on the eyes, is it? <laughs> All right, so you just bounce. Yeah. um... I mucked it up then, but Ratley, the rattlesnake, <laughs> to use his Sonic the Hedgehog style title. Yeah, he's got the thing where if you charge A down and let it go, you do a big jump. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, make sure you hold jump when you get to that bit, like I didn't. <laughs> So, oh, here we go. So, oh, Pixel cops into arm, Jasmine Cricken, hint, hint. Oh, the... There we go. So, I'm posting that chat. Um... Oh, actually, how did you sign up to Nims' tournament, Gar? Literally, ju literally just ask, <laughs> oh, ask really? if you want to join, and then um, Pixel put your name down. Nice. I'll uh, I'll mention it that now with the. With the asterisk that, not to worry if it's too late. Oh, hold on there, here. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, but again, that's... Uh, the two-player on this, it's just sort of, well, whoever... Gets control of the animal first. Damn it. God, there is a bit of a mind up to hold it down there. Ah, oh, damn. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is a very notoriously tough level on this. Oh, you want Earthworm Gem? Nice retro. Do we get a coin? Good question. Uh, spend enough time doing that so I can get this buddy. Oh, no, we didn't. No. Got a transparent image of uh, my summoner. After you can summon um, uh, Jeff, we get get from Jim on that. Oh God! This is a tough case where the checkpoint isn't that early on, but that also means it is going to skip a lot of the horrible early parts of this. Yeah, it's a bit of a faint memory now because of how long ago it was, but I'm sure the Game Boy equivalent on this stage was uh, <laughs> took me a long time as a child. And it's taken us a long time, yeah. I mean, not to mention, this is on the Switch, so it's supposed to look a little nicer. <laughs> oh, 
Ah. Oh. No. <laughs> Schon mal <auch> klappen. Ne? <lacht> ja, gehst du. There we go, I found the uh, animated gear, so I'll just get too annoying. <laughs> uh, not, a trans not one of the transparent backgrounds, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I, I guess the context there is that Jim, while he's skipping rope with his own worm body head, he, he doesn't recognise his predicament. <laughs> no! Get attacked by 8 bit shadow. Never there's like a single banana coin anytime sitting on this, is there? Yeah. Tell you what, we could do. We could, um,. I mean, it's not going to work now because we're only on one life, so we can't like deliberately die here. But we could have gone back and tried to get to that checkpoint first try. Hmm. I'm trying to think of the previous levels. Which one, like, did we get a banana coin from early? Because once you beat the level, you can exit it just by pressing start and select, or start hmm. and then select. You got you got a life. So. There we go. Oh, it takes quite a lot of time to wind up. Oh, there's been other coins to the left there as well. Oh, that's got to be a... Oh, I forgot you play as a uh, Squawk, so... Oh, this. Oh, poor lad, it didn't sound very pleasant to... <laughs> Get this eggs out, does it? It's too riskily, I think. <laughs> well, you still, you still got, you still got, um, like the uh, thing after. So, I'm keeping an eye out for any banana coins, although they're a bit scarce at the moment. Yeah. Oh, I, I think oh, this is a bit of an animal buddy towards a force that is. I think at the very least they're nice enough here to not make the uh, slime go up too quickly. <laughs> hey. moment, oh yeah, I didn't even think of that. I just, I, I just want to get a banana coin. <laughs> like, wait, we need that, don't we? Oh, goodness. Yeah, so... Uh, well, I think we should go straight down. <laughs> well, actually, the funny thing is, I think... I Yeah, do save. I think what happens, we go to that room and then... I think there's not actually a boss there. I think it actually goes straight to the next world. You'll see why when it happens. Um, but yeah, we'll still save there regardless. I think it might only be one or two more levels and then the final world. The final boss, I want to say. Just you wait for the final boss, though. Oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, here we go. There's our boy. Yeah, he looks so happy. <laughs> Unfortunately, our propensity to rock out came at the expense of actually getting poor DK free. <laughs> if he goes blunderbuss in tow, Mr. Coral. Let's go after him, shall we? Yeah, I think it might just be this level and then the final... Boss, maybe? Uh, this is not just this. Oh, Jesus. Just 
<laughs> That's a uh, you're meant to like Sonic. Yeah, it's event to Sonic. <laughs> or see event to. Uh... I was just, I was wondering what Sonic's doing in this game. <laughs> Let's do this. There we go. Yeah. It's a uh, cat and nine tails, I believe it's called. <laughs> We've got the really beautiful music everyone loves from this game, but not for too long. I see why in a moment that. Ooh, Cricket's playing Nair's Fire Emblem. Which I don't think came up on the stream because of the way I've cropped it, but <laughs> I hope he's enjoying it. Oh, God. There's bananas cut there. <laughs> No, screw it. <laughs> I think up there is like a bow this level, which again we're not. Uh, that's not our concern on this run. What is is taking part in this bizarre little parrot race we get into. Oh, okay. It's like the uh, boo race in Mario Galaxy. Mm. Yeah, there's a few examples of this in game. Look at this. Did you get that 3D All Stars? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, because you were playing. I remember you said you were playing Galaxy. Uh, I was some of those tougher uh, comments. Uh, I remember some of those getting really hard. Um, they were fine. Um, I didn't uh, struggle with them too badly. I, I did the. Um, I actually did most of them first try. <laughs> oh, nice. I, don't know. I think Galaxy Two is the hard of the two games. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. It's got um, the the last world is um, like uh, like old old levels, like from uh, Galaxy One. Oh, that's oh. right. Yeah, because they got like the Mario sixty four throwback level up in there as well. Yeah, that was that was that wasn't um, the last. That was World Six, I think. Yeah, the Bob's Fortress. Yeah, they had, well. one, they had one Fortress in um, World 6. Thank you, Metro. Yeah, those bits are tough to do quickly. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Can you hit the walls? No, definitely yeah, not. <laughs> no. So that's fine, because we, uh,. We saved. Yeah. Oh, there were two. There were two coins there. Oh, were there? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think after I want to say after we clear this level, I think there's a funky's fly thing, so like, you would be able to get out of there otherwise. Um. So yeah, actually, yeah. Hopefully, we do get some de some banana coins. No, <laughs> retro. Oh, well, I like Sonic a lot as well. I like him. Also. You prefer moment TK as long as you accept DK into your heart. That's fine. You do, right? Oh, that's cool as well. I forgot that. You could see in the background there's the islands from the first game as well. So I oh, think yeah. you're in control here, so if you uh oh, yeah. yeah, I just go to the top bin again. <laughs> Thank you, Jittery. He's wishing us both luck, uh, guards. <laughs> Which we, we need. Yeah, we, we do need. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hardest boss in the game. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we did it first try. <laughs> I tell you what, we'll, yeah, it's a bit weird. This it changes it to me now. <laughs> We're gonna create a save state there, and if we game over, we'll just reload that because that's basically the same. It's just we'll yeah. have to like uh, go through that cutscene again. God, I did it again! <laughs> I almost saved myself as well, but... Oh. <laughs> it's tough, isn't it? But if mm. I, uh... We do want that, so...
Yeah, I think by this point they expect you to be able to do that okay, the uh, roll it off the edge and then uh, jump it afterwards. Oh, there's not much need to do it in this game compared to the last game. No, I guess not. I think the, the level design's a bit different in that way, isn't it? Might come into this one a bit more when like going after the bonus levels and such. Oops. <laughs> I think um Yeah, as long as you go into that, there we go. Oh hello Cora, thank you for coming in. Uh, you came in at the perfect time because I'm not playing the game at the moment. <laughs> no, gorgeous. Uh, get ready to stream on Jim Jam's channel to meet her affiliate. Oh, nice. Um, oh, she's on the road to affiliate. Is she? Oh, oh, okay. oh, that's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you voted for my friend, uh, Cora. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being very dim. I'm actually not completely sure what you mean, but, but thank you for voting for my friend. <laughs> Very fond of my friend, whoever that is, in this context. <laughs> Again, sorry, I'm sure that's really obvious. I've been mean, uh... But yeah, no worries at all, Cora. Thank you for coming in. And uh, I should be able to pop along to Jim Jam Street. Might be lurky because I might be about to take part in a Smash Brothers tournament. This guard here will be in as well. But... Which they're going to be very rusty for, but. That's okay. Same. <laughs> I haven't been playing that much. I don't. I don't know if I will um, when Sephiroth comes out as well. I think I'll just like forget about it. Although, although there is um, I'm not get. I've not got a lot of work to do anymore because of Christmas. So. Have you had a uh, mock exams? Not yet. No. I've had like um. I've had like like uh, many assessments like the uh, the topics we've done. Thank you so much, whoever just raided. I'm really sorry. I, I will look. Thank you, Fireball. Well, thank you so much, Fireball. I'm thank you for telling me as well. Actually, yeah. <laughs> oh damn it, we missed uh, the opportunity for two lives. Huh? <laughs> thank you so much, Fireball. How are you all doing? A oh, jazz spasm. Oh, oh dear. No. <laughs> Should yeah. we? Oh, actually, Wrinkly's there as well. Okay, no, uh, don't pay for the flight. Uh, I don't think we'll be too offended, hopefully not. <laughs> yeah, we um, we had like topic assessments for um, each uh, subject uh, at the start of the term. Hmm. So I got um, an A star, an A and a B in maths, for the maths and computing, respectively. Oh, well done. So, that's a pretty good start, I think. Yeah, fair play, man. I mean, I'm going for, um... Oh, you're I'm going... Oh, my God. I'm going for three A stars, so... Right, so you've got to uh, pick that, that, that ball. Uh, jump over it. Oh. I probably shouldn't have told you to pick that up. You have to do that, and he does that. Which, uh... He's surprised that we fired his... <laughs> <laughs> It's quite a lot of that. That does that. I think he comes back this way. So it's quite similar to the his fight from the first game. I I, I didn't do any of the fight in the first game. <laughs> that was oh. all you. <laughs> Obviously, the final stage of this is really tough. As did he. It actually really benefits from Dixie's hop. But you remember, like, he was zipping back and forth quite a lot. Yeah. This does the fit as well, where... Well done. It does actually give us a DK barrel. Okay, so that's two events. One of these will go on the floor. And the music here is... Oh, it's no good. And actually, on the Game Boy version, this music was the theme for every boss. So... <laughs> so they have to be economical there. Yeah, so Yeah, that's this is how this is how physics works, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean they ah, They didn't incorporate this aspect into his uh It is cool though, they got like the him sucking stuff in and this Smash Brothers move. 
It's quite a cool fit where he's got like one move from, from every DKC game in that. Like his up and B is from the third game. Yeah, at least uh. it's not getting horrible at that point. <laughs> no worries, Fireball. Um, <laughs> I touch your. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the 20 minutes of cutscenes. I that's one of like many old JRPGs I'd love to eventually get to Valkyrie profile. I'm gonna play the one of the Luda games sometime next year. Big classic JRPG series though. Yeah, well done on those great cards. I think it's safe to say you've earned a nice restful Christmas. Uh, what game do you reckon you're gonna be playing a lot? Over the next few weeks, I don't know. Um, I've got my brother coming over, so I see Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, nice! I forget who do you who would you main in Mario Kart? Would you be Donkey Kong in that as well? Um, Donkey Kong or Waluigi, yeah. Nice. <laughs> but that is a game. Does just... this barrel stay, or I think it does eventually disappear. <laughs> I get when it disappears, yeah, there we go. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> okay, I think the game is like, okay, you get some mercy, but not that much. Some of these, it's like, okay, do we try and jump over them? I think probably my preference is jump over all of them, apart from the highest one. There we go. to see the Nintendo branded bananas in the back as well. Yeah, I haven't seen any of those around in Morrison's. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I did buy Star Wars branded oranges once. <laughs> Not really because they were Star Wars brands, because I needed oranges in them. It's the merchandise everything. <laughs> Is there still more? Yeah, there's like there's one more phase after this. It's when it starts going, it starts to be like coloured smoke. He starts shooting. Yeah. What? Oh, that's right. It doesn't like kill you immediately. Right, get the barrel straight away. There we are. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it starts going invisible <laughs> as well. Yeah. Yeah, he gets some real tricks by the third phase. <laughs> I bet you would have would have been top tier in Smash if that had happened. Oh, hello, Aradol. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I only just saw that, Aradol. Thanks so much. Um, yeah, I love K. Rool in Smash. I'm, I would have loved Dixie Con in Smash. Um, she might be in the DLC, probably, probably not. But I, I do love... Uh, they did implement K. Rool very well. Nice thing with Smash, if there's a character you like that goes in there, you know they're going to like have a ridiculous amount of attention to detail on them. They did that really well, didn't they? Uh, you're, you're a Donkey Kong main as well on Mario Kart. Nice, Aaron. Oh, I'm uh, shocked to have a Donkey Kong main, whenever that's possible, really. <laughs> no, I hope you're doing well, Aaron. Thanks so much for coming in. <laughs> no, oh, worries. No. no worries, Cora. I'll let you know how this goes later. Hopefully we get this done this stream, but it might take a few goes. <laughs> You'd imagine. So that third phase gets really tough. I mean, it is nice than the boss in the first game for giving you a DK battle, but I'd probably still say it's harder overall. But I, did I do the first game's boss first time? I think. You did K rule. You did. You did K rule um, in the first game. Right. Yeah, we definitely didn't do the boss before that the first time. Remember that? The, uh, oh my god. Big Bird one. Yeah, yeah I remember. Uh, not Sesame Street Big Bird. Yeah, like that one, I, I think that one's just great to my memory enough. <laughs> to, to, uh, sort of is, for even that, it's just like, oh god. <laughs> like, it's when they, it's when the, like, the colour. Damn it, the kind of clouds near the end start uh, start going about in this motion and it gets really tough. Nope. I would say use your helicopter hair on this as well if you get the chance.
that's um, why when you're in the air, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, you just hold that, hold that attack while you're in the air. Oh, nice! <laughs> I don't think grating potatoes is anyone's favourite part of food preparation, but it's because one to take a break right after, and you'll be you'll be glad you did it. For Hanukkah, do you say as well? Nice. Oh, very good, man. Ooh. I assume it's got to be less. Um, food preparation can be stressful when you're doing it for multiple people, but I would still say it's probably less stressful than a cave rule boss fight. I don't remember it too well in the third game. I, I know he's like in a Frank Dr. Frankenstein kind of get up. Oh, actually, I think, I think the battle will spawn here anyway. Just jump. No. Oh. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> I, I did jump, I did jump. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's uh... The, uh, the reaction times expected on this are pretty rough, that's what that Oh yeah, doing cottage pine now, Lion, nice. Oh no, that one was... I forget we start a little slower. I think if you do two phases of this, that'll spawn the... Okay, so we're gonna do that thing where we like... After we reload yeah, save, save. now, yeah. Just so it uh, takes less time to get back in. Not that it takes a huge amount. Also, this image is oh. really distressing to me. I don't want to keep seeing it. <laughs> yeah, this is, this, is, this is horrible to look at. Also, a uh, Merry Christmas <laughs> from the snowman uh, guard flag. <laughs> I thought you were saying in regards to the game over image, also Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, Merry Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas from Diddy and Dixie in prison. <laughs> well, I guess it's the red festive colour. Okay, yeah, oh, it's so great. But... There we are. So whenever we game over again, we'll just reload that. It'll just be the same as if we were reloaded there anyway. It'll just take less time. Although we do have to see poor DK get this every time, <laughs> which is immensely yeah, we'll distressing. <laughs> We have to stop losing. Uh, that's good motivation, actually. Not losing. Aside like from the very act of not losing. Yeah, because we were we were deliberately losing before. Are we going with that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, I'd like a uh, hit detection not always in the player's favour in these games. <laughs> Should have stayed where I was. It's alright, I'm gonna win now. <laughs> oh, nice light, I hope it goes well. Yeah, I know this game by the end it gets very tough. <laughs> I do love it though. And to be fair, this fight start to finish isn't that long as well. I mean, the earlier phases are a bit of a pain to do again, but. Okay, I didn't win. <laughs> it's okay. So, we haven't technically lost yet. True. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I say yet as if it is going to happen. So. <laughs> Maybe I'm not have talking that well, but there we are. That one goes. The worst thing is if you don't throw that with enough momentum, it's just like right next to him. It doesn't. Yeah, I did, I did that. Um... Yeah. I have to like walk into it a bit and then throw. A lot of left, right, kind of circle jump here. Oh. Very much. Yeah, everybody's doing food prep. I hope you all uh, have a lovely meal. No matter how stressful it gets, remember you're not fighting a barrage of. Spiky cannonballs against the crocodile pirate captain. It could be so much worse. I, I mean, the, it could be worse. Fit isn't always a good way to cheer someone up in a bad situation, of it, though. Well, I guess in this pretty goofy case, it puts Finns into <laughs> a comical kind of perspective. Oh. 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 
barrel. Thank you. Okay, so I think that's the end of his second phase. And now we can. Oh. Oh, I definitely did not need to pick you up. <laughs> Let's try to bash the buttons. Yeah. We jump over the. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's sneaky fit to throw it. Oh, no! <laughs> God. Oh, that's right. I, I always think you have to jump across all three of them, either like jump individually on them. Okay, so I think. Is this when they start spinning? It's a quick dash across. I need to start to do a bit of everything now. <laughs> Zip back, I think he zips it. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> okay, hey. Wait, you haven't dropped a cannon, have you? Oh, that's right, he starts doing this. So we just kind of have to run about and... Oh! No! Oh no! Damn it. <laughs> I think he thought, wait a minute, what if I spawn right in front of him? Yeah. <laughs> no worries, Lee. Thank you so much. All the best, Lee. Have a good one, Matt. We'll play uh, Fall Guys again sometime, Lee. <laughs> Take it easy, Matt. No, it's alright chat, we'll get it. <laughs> it yeah. I think I think we, I think I might have been one hit away from it as well. Yeah, you are, I think. Um, he has a lot of attack patterns to uh... oh. <laughs> it's, a it's so easy to make over such a long sustained period that we have to do in them. Right, it's not worked before, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say that we're not going to win this time. <laughs> How many layers of first psychology? I'm with rocking my mouse off. Shall we be in by the end of this? Oh. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the follow, whoever that was. So have a look. After I throw in this. Oh, Aronel, thank you very much. Thank you so much for the follow. Um. How did you know I was streaming, sir? Is that, was that the... Oh, I did tweet this out, didn't I? No, thank you very much, man. It was lovely to see another GRK uh, fellow. Or fellowette. I think my uh, head is jolted up and down. I'm with the uh, various projectiles. Oh. Zip across, does he zip? Yeah, no, not yet. Forget how this, his fight is in the third game. I don't think it's as tough as this. I say that, it'll, it'll, it'll be a fast forward to that, it'll take us loads of tries, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely do the third game as well, but... Maybe. maybe not right away, we'll have to see how that... The time it works out. So many tough platformers like this. I always, I always just use the thread that needle analogy. It just always feel like that to me. That level of precision required. All right. He's going to shoot these across now. Oh, wait, come in, come in, come in, come in. There we go. At least it's nice enough to go across slowly there. It does speed up for this, but. Ah, damn it. 
I saw it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I think after this is the final one, but this is also when he starts teleporting everywhere. Does he zip across for- uh, Oh god, who does this first? <laughs> Where are you gonna be, Croc? I think it's gonna be the middle. Well, it kind of was there. <laughs> and it's gonna be close to the right. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Nice enough. Is that it? Yay. Thank God. <laughs> Phase four. Oh, look, what's this? What's this? Hey. Oh. <laughs> we did it, Pog Champ. Hey. I've got the. <laughs> with a comical shark eating sound that I think they played in. Um. I was trying to rewind that. Can we not do that in two player? No. <laughs> there we are. Thank you, everyone. Oh, is there, Aaron, though? Oh, nice. That's good of um, whoever's responsible for that GRK promoting the streamers. That's really good. He dumped K. Rool in his own filthy swamp. Not bad for a novice. Of course, if I'd been playing, I'd have made sure that K. Rool never tries a cheap trick like this again. Why doesn't you play then? <laughs> yeah, he is all like flustering though. Uh, that's a good point. And yeah, here he's talking. He's not talking about the second Jurassic Park film. He's talking about getting all the bonus coins and all that. So some fun cameos actually, including ones related to both of our buddies. Actually, now that I think about it. Uh, in a bit of a derogatory fashion, you'll see now. Uh, uh, we won't have done very well on this. <laughs> so... <laughs> just try and... Uh, bathe in everything that's on screen right now. We've got a uh, very pudgy CG Mario. We've got uh, Yoshi. Same as Yoshi's Island, actually. Got a very Zelda 2 looking Link there. And then in the bottom right corner, we've got a dustbin with a No Hopers sign next to it, and Sonic's shoes and Earthworm Jim's gun. <laughs> Which I uh, a bit mean, isn't it? Yeah, it's. Uh... A bit of, I'm trying to think what that reminds me of, just taking a swipe at the competition like that. It's a uh, more acceptable uh, platformer leads in this. So. I mean, actually, I suppose retro, that goes to your saying you prefer Sonic to Donkey Kong. This, I think this game prefers Donkey Kong to Sonic, even though it's probably quite biased, I think. <laughs> there we go, guards. We got the another one in the back. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, great. DKC more. <laughs> <laughs> Off the top of your head, would you say you prefer this or the first one? Oh, probably. Um, I'd say this one, hmm. just because. Um, well, it's harder, and also. Um, Got flat salmon in it as well. The eel, no, not eel. Uh, yeah. uh, can't remember what that's called. Yeah, there's also more uh, stuff in it as well. <laughs> more fish. Yeah, more. There's also more Cranky Kong being a dick. Oh, thank you so much, Aaron. Thank you again for following. And you, you came in at the right time, actually, right at the end of the game. <laughs> to see us um, make a lot of attempts at the final boss, but eventually do it. But yeah, thank you so much, Aaron. All, all the best, man. Later. Oh, retro. Some console war talk, is it? <laughs> oh, Matt. Actually, yeah, I should have known, Matt, you'd like the uh, the Sonic jab there. <laughs> what about Earthworm Jim? Uh, and Matt, do you have strong feelings one way or another? Cost of Earthworm Jim. What about Clobber? Oh, thank you, Jittery. He's congratulated both of us. 
but yeah, I love this game to bits. It, it, it's very mean at times, but usually in a very fun way. So I like this kind of really tough challenging platform though, especially with like a lot of really good music and first Donkey Kong and company. Even if Donkey Kong's only at the end to be tied up and then punch the bad guy. You have less feelings, Matt. <laughs> Because that implies you still have some feelings, right? Or could less still refer to like zero feelings. <laughs> I'm sorry, Garge. Nice. Well, I just do that out of spite now. <laughs> Thank you for being a good sport about that. I know it's a bit mean on my behalf. It's it's, it's a letter of the alphabet, so. Um... <laughs> oh no! Do I have to get sound effects for every letter? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The twenty-five more. Mm. So you could do like, oh actually no, you could, well, you could, you just have to wait a minute in between every sound effect, but you could do like a tier list in my chat. Yeah. <laughs> it would take like the you could, but... you could, you could give me permissions. Is there a way you to could... do that? Because I, I did try well, I to know. find that, I probably didn't look far enough, but I happily would just for the banter of uh, <laughs> the notorious lad banter of rating the letters of the alphabet. <laughs> Oh, alas, we don't have a snare sound effect, because the snare doesn't have a startup sound. There probably was like a. There were definitely like pirate versions of Donkey Kong Country in various forms on the Mega Drive. Uh, you probably don't want to play any of them because they're not very good, but. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So DKC3 goes up. I think it goes up tomorrow, actually, but um, probably a good chance we'll leave it until after Christmas. We'll see how the timing works out. Yeah. I am, uh, after I get a test next week, I am going to be visiting family. Oh, yeah, that's fair enough. And if I can stream, it probably won't be... Uh, there'll probably have to be something directly from PC, but... We'll leave it a bit of time, anyway. <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor DK just on the cast line. <laughs> <laughs> just going across in his uh, tangled up form. There we go, here's our two heroes. Pardon me, here's our two heroes. Ah, <laughs> gosh! <laughs> you have no idea how close I was to be like, oh, we got a bloody bolt. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> well, here we go. So the actual credits for real this time. I don't see any K's, so, um... <laughs> you don't see any Mortal Kombat style, but every word that could be go with a C begins with a K. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's that's the best way to do it, isn't it? <laughs> Just so, get rid of the letter C. <laughs> it is odd, though, only using initials for the first names. Is that a... A. Smith, that's such a, that's such a generic <laughs> name. <laughs> Then he's just referred to him as he is a smith. Yeah, he's just a smith. <laughs> Blacksmith? David Wise. Mi mi Mr. Smith from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> see, I see he hates water, I'm just like Howard. <laughs> Weaver, Richards, to Charlesworth, Gahood, Richardson. He was. So there's, a, there's a Williams. Oh. There's a Dowson. Dowson. <laughs> not not the Street Fighter character though. Well, there's, a, there's a story credit as well. <laughs> I guess there was a bit more written than the manual. Did you just did you just say I, I guess there was a bit more written in the manga? No, no, in the well, no, I, I said manual, but we'll change that to manga. No, manga. Is it because I want that to exist? <laughs> I got so. Yeah, there's a DKC2 Diddy Conquest manga. <laughs> it might be. Uh... It would sometimes be. Ask Miyamoto. Is. I wonder who that is. <laughs> Simon. I know that's Greg Mails. Um, that's Tim Stamper, T I think. T, T Stamper. He's one of the rare founders, I'm pretty sure. I think, I think it was like a couple of brothers. Stamper. Who names their child rare? <laughs> <laughs> uh. I guess on steak preparation preference. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> I'll go with that. I mean, they were called Ultimate Play of the Game when they were like on the Spectrum and whatnot. As in the computer spectrum. 
Though I changed the rare like in the mid 80s that were making those games. There we go. Bye, Retro. <laughs> oh, thank you, Retro. Thank you so much. You came in at a good time. As a, uh, another one that came in at a good time, Retro. <laughs> First to finish that. But yeah, thank you so much for the bit. I'll uh, catch you later, Retro. Thank you so much. Later. And actually, I think we'll probably. Uh, we'll call it there anyway. Oh, yeah. Um, I did want to. Uh, I was happy with leave, uh, having it as like. We'll try and do it by seven, just because I assumed the. Uh, I assumed the final boss would take us that long. <laughs> we got quite lucky. Yeah, well, we did it. We did it quite well, didn't we? <laughs> I mean, despite um, like getting seven game overs, but that's <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right. We'll go and um, we'll go and raid uh, Jim Jam Babylon, who's a uh, retro core who was in here earlier. But yeah, thank you so much, Ever. Thank you, Jittery. Yeah, we uh, we look forward to finishing the trilogy up early next year. I might do that with Peds as well, because I actually, via the unofficial emulator, I did co-op these games with him as well a few years back, so... Maybe I'll do, like, EKC3 with everyone. Why not? I just have to make sure I get her username right. I've definitely raided the wrong username before. We don't want to do that now. There we go. But yeah, thank you so much, everyone. I'm probably not streaming that much in December. But I'm going to be on again tomorrow evening, probably with a 6pm start, maybe a little bit later, with Jeff. Jeff Yards on Portal 2. I'm going to give the co-op a go on that. Um, here's Corley, he just asked me randomly, and I'm more than happy to try that. Um, and... Um, I mean, after that, obviously, it might be until the new year. <laughs> until I stream again. We'll have to see on that. Um, do you have any streams planned, God? I don't, actually. And I should probably uh, get on it, because I haven't streamed in over a month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fair, man. You've been busy. What not? Uh, I'll definitely try to do it if I can. Yeah, thanks so much for joining, God, because there's uh, been a lot of fun doing these so far. And we're... Uh, Two thirds of the way through the trilogy, though. Mm. As I, yeah. said, I promise the next game is slightly less nightmarishly difficult. <laughs> Still pretty tough. But... but yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone in chat. And um, yeah, we've had quite a few like bits and raids, and we had the sub earlier. Thank you all so, so much, as always. And yeah, give Jim Jam a big welcome for me. Thank you, everyone. All the best. Oh, God, you remember this level? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, bye everyone. <laughs>